What's up friends? Good morning or whenever you are watching this. It's Monday. Um, I said good morning because it's currently 8.52 a.m. I haven't changed the time on the stove so I had to look at my phone. Uh, we had daylight savings this week and I can't remember if we said that in the last vlog or not. Um, we're having a real case of the Monday today. We woke up late. Um, luckily we woke up where Josh had enough time that he could go to work and not be late. Um, and we've just been chilling. I'm exhausted. We did not get to bed until late last night and I don't know if it was the time change or what, but we were struggling. Um, if you have children and you experience daylight savings time, you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, it's Monday, it's a new vlog, and I am about to put dinner in the crock pot. We are going to make a homemade version of the madras lentils, um, which I think are like the yellow packets you get at Costco. I've never tried them, but I hear they're amazing. Um, and it's just to try something new. We like lentils. And I think later we're going to serve it with some coconut rice and some naan. So that's the plan right now. So I thought I'd let you join me as I get everything in the crock pot. Can't push this back. Mama, we got to find more space for all our stuff. We got to get organized in here. Mm. You know? Okay. I'm glad you know. You're a silly boy. My teeth. I. Teeth. I have to figure out where your daddy put the crop pot because I can't see it. <laughs> he pushed it way back. Oh my goodness. You can have a snack as soon as mommy gets this done, okay? <laughs> I know. Hold on. Give me just a second to get this out. Okay, I just gotta get this out. Hold on, hold on. Do you want your pop now or after mommy does this? Yeah. Okay, what do you say? Please. Good job. Hold please, I'm gonna have to track down all the ingredients. <laughs> all right, so that turned out to be a longer intermission than planned. Um, I see I needed a change, and then I had to wash my hands, and then I found the ingredients. So what's in the crock pot already is one can of light red kidney beans that have been rinsed and drained, the equivalent of one diced up onion, and I say the equivalent because we diced ours up in the freezer. Really, it's just one onion. Um, and then one cup of lentils, which have been rinsed and poured in there. So we got two cups of veggie broth. Alright, we got that done. Now it's time for the spices. Okay. So we have... Hold on a second, please. Alright, so we are going to do two tablespoons of minced garlic. Um, 
and making sure that's what I grabbed. Really, it calls for less than this, but as you guys know, in this house, we measure garlic with our hearts. All right, we got the minced garlic done. Now, it calls for grated ginger root, but I don't have that, so we're gonna use minced ginger. And it says two tablespoons. do that when they're counting I don't know why I still do it I remember it from when I was a kid all right so I'm gonna try to speed through the rest of this, but the remaining ingredients are chili powder cumin paprika one diced bell pepper and then some salt and pepper and then we're gonna cook it on low for about seven hours so please enjoy the following time lapse Alright, so dinner's in the crock pot. It is going. It's going to cook for about seven hours. By the way, I don't know if you could see in the time lapse, there was an ingredient I forgot to tell you beforehand, and that's one can of tomato sauce, and we had some no salt, regular tomato sauce, and that's what I used. Um, so yeah, we're just going to wait for that to be all nice and dandy. There's a peek at it. I don't know if you can totally see. And then dinner should be done about five, which is enough time for Josh to come home and us to cook the rice. Um... So that's where we're at right now. I'm gonna do some pickup and I'll check in with you guys later. Okay, so it's later. I think I'm gonna have some lunch now. Um, Josh was nice enough to prep this Italian pasta salad last night that I've really been wanting. I'm gonna scoop some into a bowl for Dossie. I'm willing to bet he's not gonna touch it, but we'll see. But I personally am gonna have some because I love pasta salad, so. Hi, honey, welcome home. Hello. You want to know a fact that's going to blow your mind? Oh, well, sure. Did you know? You know how we like paprika a lot? Yeah. Today I learned paprika is just dried, crushed up red bell pepper. That's all it is? Yeah. No wonder we like it so much. That's like our favorite, one of our favorite, I want to say veggie, but this is seeds, so technically it's fruit. Mind blown? It is. Are you just tired? Yeah. Okay, so now it's time to do the next part of dinner, which is coconut rice. We have none too, but that's just the Trader Joe's frozen none, and it only cooks no, for a couple no, minutes. No. <laughs> Josh is being funny. Uh, it does say to cook it with water, but we're gonna try veggie broth just because I think it gives it more flavor. Flavor! Not quite enough in that kitchen. My personality. I'm picking these up so I don't trip all over. Okay. Hold, please. I'm just gonna show you when it's all going. Okay, so this is coconut milk, veggie broth, and salt. And we're just waiting for that to boil before we add the rice. I imagine you probably said it to him, but uh, what all is this? So we have coconut rice, madras lentils, and naan. Garlic naan. <laughs> well, it's looking pretty good. It's smelling pretty good. Okay, so this is our little setup. I'm gonna have Josh do the taste test because I already tasted mine. <laughs> By the way, I think you're right. I don't think all of this show is on here. Yeah. It's only got four seasons. It was longer than that. Oh, my bite fell off. I like it. That's good. Did you think it was good? I'm still deciding. Ah. <laughs> I don't know if I got that on camera. Josh is doing a funny voice. Me swoop, me see nothing. So dinner was okay. Um, not that satisfying though. But as you saw in the last video, we made marinara. And it only lasts a few days. Um, 
So we decided to order some mozzarella sticks. And we're gonna snack while we chill and wait for Dossie to calm down so we can hopefully go to bed at a decent time. Tell me we watched too much Hamilton because when you said satisfied, I just heard an echo, never be satisfied. <laughs> That's not the melody, but. I am terrible <laughs> with melodies, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm talking I don't know what this does. I can't remember. Okay. Josh picked a movie. I don't know what it is. He told me to keep the camera on me. Yeah. For my reaction. Or I could just hit play movie and you have to figure it out. Oh, that's even better. That's even better. That's even better. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's something rated R. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, careful, Bubba. Careful. Dropping cookies. Is this like Stand By Me rated R or like? Rated R, rated R. That's about me, rated R, I think. Okay. It was mostly language. For those of you who don't know, when I was a kid, we watched Stand By Me a bunch, and then my dad, like, a few years after letting us watch it, realized it was rated R. It was very slow. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about content. Sorry, Sony has long intros. Yeah. I'm trying to guess what it could be. I'm trying to think of all our Sony movies. Chloe, you figure it out immediately. Okay. I don't know what clue he gave me. But... I didn't give you a clue. Oh, he says he didn't give me a clue. I heard him say he did. He won a lot of companies on this movie. <gasps> I thought this didn't come out till tomorrow. It was there. We're watching anyone but you. If you guys don't remember, we went on date night and I loved it. And I've been watching <laughs> clips on YouTube. Okay, it's starting. That was cool too. <sighs> cool. It's starting. I'll see you guys later. Hello guys. It is the next morning. Man, daylight savings is kicking my butt. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Um. I'm weirdly, like, so very slowly w waking up as I drink my water, though. Remember to hydrate, friends. Anyways, so Josh is at work. It's just Dossie and I for the day. Last night was so fun. We watched that movie, and we just snacked, and we had some quality time together, because really, for Josh and I, quality time is after Dossie goes to sleep. Uh, which he did. Um, right before, like, halfway through that movie, he was asleep on the couch. Um, and, oh God. <sighs> I'm sure you guys enjoyed that visual. But anyways, so now I am sitting here. I am slowly beginning the process of figuring out, like, a dinner option menu for us. I like to write menu plan a lot. We don't always stick to the order. But I like to like have basic ideas. Um, plus I just like making lists. I find it therapeutic. Is anybody else like that? Anyways. So I'm doing that. Um, because we have about a week more of recipes. And I just like to get it done. So then it can be prepared. Although I may have to take a break and take a nap. Because my goodness I can barely stay awake right now. <laughs> Okay, so it's later. No nap was really had. <laughs> what he said. Uh, but I'm here. I'm going to get chicken marinating for tonight. We're going to make some rosemary balsamic chicken. Um, it's one of our favorites. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So I thought I would invite you to join me. Okay, so please excuse this mess. 
I still need to clean up. I'm going to do that after I get this going. All right, so first things first is two-thirds of a cup of balsamic, which is over here. I got a little bottles out right now, guys. Okay, so two-thirds. Perfect. And then it's one third of a cup of olive oil, which I'm just going to measure in the same cup. It's all good. Or, it's not olive oil. It's avocado oil. That's our preference, but you can use avocado oil. Or, olive oil. Two. I'm not a professional talker, guys. Okay, so we got those. By the way, don't tell Josh I'm going against what he would do. I'm mixing it in the container I'm going to marinate it in. He would normally do it in a bowl and then transfer it, transfer it over. But I'm rebelling. I'm just kidding. I'm just doing it this way because it's easier. Okay. So now... We need our measuring spoon. Oh. I think we're going to need a couple of these. Alright, so we're gonna need two tablespoons of soy sauce. I love my husband, but he never opens the lid like the way it's supposed to. So we're just gonna do this. The next color is orange. One. Two. Got that. We're done with that one. And we have two tablespoons of brown sugar, which I'm gonna find another one in here because, well, because. All right, so we got. You could probably use any brown sugar. There was no specification when we originally looked at the recipe, but we have light brown sugar, so that's what we're using. Okay, so we got brown sugar. This is half a tablespoon of dried rosemary, but I'm feeling a teaspoon. Rosemary can be real overpowering, you know? I'm not as good as Josh. I don't know most of our recipes uh, by heart. Some I do, but not all. You probably wouldn't believe it based on our cooking videos, but there was a time when Josh did not know how to cook, and now I think he's an amazing cook. You can't see my head at all, but I hope you're enjoying this. Okay. And then three tablespoons of minced garlic. That is, of course, to my personal preferences. I can't even remotely remember what the original recipe said. But that's okay. We like garlic in this house. One. Two. Three. I'm counting to the tune of Miss Rachel, which is playing in the other room. Alright, and then the next thing is just some black pepper. And you whisk it all together. I'm using this one because this was our smallest clean whisk. So this marinade, um, it just says it can marinate anywhere between one and 10 hours. Uh, I didn't get the chicken out soon enough last night to marinate it overnight, but I mean, it's just about 11 now. We usually start cooking about four. I'm 
make sure that it has a good coating on both sides before I leave it. Snap the lid on, and I always like to give it a nice shake before we put it in the fridge. And that's the marinade. We'll check in with you later. So I figured I'd do a reading update. I can't remember if I've actually done one in this vlog. Um, at the end of the last vlog, I was reading the Gloria Steinem book, which. I am still reading. Uh, I think that night I said I was going to call it quits for the night, but I actually wound up reading one more of the essays that night. Um, I didn't do any reading yesterday. And I'm, I've done about one and a half so far today. Um, and I'm really liking it. My brain is kind of, I don't know, I'm just tired, so my brain isn't fully comprehending everything I'm reading. I don't know how to explain it, but like I've had to go back and restart a paragraph a couple times, which happens. Um, so yeah, that is my reading update. And I'd like to try to finish this book in the next couple days, but we'll see. My reading motivation is all over the place. Um, it's kind of funny because there was so long where I wasn't reading. And then I slowly go back into it, and now I'm, like, full force back into it. But I'm still, like, I have days where I'm, like, I can't be bothered to pick up my book today. Which is not something I ever thought I'd say. So, I'm going to continue reading. You can do it, honey. I believe in you. I'm not helping. <laughs> so what is this called again? Uh, we're going to make cauliflower mash. <clears throat> we make this one before or did we try something else? No, this is a new one. Okay. I couldn't quite remember. Mm -hmm. And then which chicken did we pick again? We are making the rosemary balsamic chicken. That's right. I saw the balsamic out, so I figured it was one that has a is it balsamic. How does this feel, Minya? Thanks. I could use some help. Oh, sorry. So what all is going in this mixture again? So Parmesan, cream cheese, um, minced garlic, chicken bouillon, and pepper. Pepper. Was there something else? I think there's some butter. Butter. We'll get some butter out. It's coming along. And then it all gets blended up, huh? Alright, so this is a finished park. We got green beans, cauliflower mash with some brown gravy, and rosemary balsamic chicken. It's beautiful! I hope it tastes as good as it looks. So spoiler alert, dinner was not as good as it looked. But that's okay, because now I've got chips with queso. Josh was nice enough to go to the store for me. So, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I appreciate all you guys watching. And I hope you had fun. We'll see you in the next video.